Hi, and welcome to the Arizona Public Health Training Center's Continuing Workforce Quality Improvement Series. For this episode, we will be discussing Pareto charts. Pareto charts are very similar to histograms. It may be a good idea to watch the histogram video that we've made for our quality improvement series. The difference between a histogram and a Pareto chart is that a histogram represents data as it appears on the data set. It is not necessarily specifically ordered. On a Pareto chart, the data represented is ordered. This chart type combines both bars and sometimes a line graph. The bars display the values in descending order, and the line graph, if necessary, shows the cumulative total of each category. A Pareto chart's purpose is to highlight the most important values among a set of factors. In quality control, it often represents the most common sources of defects, the highest occurring type of defect, or the most frequent reasons for customer complaints. Let's look at an example. Here we see a Pareto chart detailing login failure reasons as reported by an organization. Note that the bar graph has ordered the reasons for login failure beginning with the most prevalent for getting passwords and ending with the least prevalent inability to find the help key. The graph associated with this Pareto chart represents the cumulative total after each response is illustrated. Now let's create our own Pareto chart. Let's suppose we are a leadership team representing an organization whose productivity has declined over the last year. We decide to hold a staff retreat to deal with climate issues within our organization. During the retreat, the staff outlines six major issues that they feel contributed to a negative climate. Each category is labeled and colored here. Initially, the problems or issues that were reported were randomly mixed. Notice that there is no way to know which issues the staff feels are most critical in trying to better the work climate within the organization. We'll begin by grouping the issues as reported by the staff, then ordering the different classifications. This histogram is a random representation of the issues plaguing the organization as reported by the staff. From this diagram, we can now build a Pareto chart. Now the issues are ordered giving the team a clear step forward in dealing with the issues that would have the biggest impact on climate within the organization. That was a look at Pareto charts. Visit our website to see what the Arizona Public Health Training Center is doing to ensure a well-prepared public health workforce. You can also contact us with any questions or suggestions that you may have. Until next time.